Most people in the world nowadays treat me and all other people with special needs for granted. But they may never know, realize, or understand that people with special needs are not hypocritical or felonious, troublesome, negative, or discomforting to other people purposely. It is their abnormal behaviors controlling them. The same goes for me as well. Furthermore, others tended to either accuse or misinterpret me and other special needs people of doing something hypocritical or felonious or any other negative way. And as if things would never get any worse, any person or a group of people or a foe or a group of foes or even any merciless mafia, gang or mob would find me and other special needs people as an easy target, prey, or bait to be either verbally, emotionally, or mentally, physically, psychologically, or even defensively, picked on or insulted, mocked, offended, cursed, brutalized, refrained, scorned off, mobbed, bossed, dominated, enslaved, abused, bullied or jerked, traumatized, or even violated by them. Worse, special needs people may never know if or when they will be treated by the police wrongly and unjustly. Additionally, other special needs people who are born and raised as blacks, negroes, such as myself, or any other certain nationalities are far more likely to be deeper victims of all these common negative assumptions and experiences. Overall, at the end of the day, people with any special needs, such as myself, are behaviorally sick and innocent patients who have been lacking being in any community. There should be no excuse or offense for them and me to be treated by non-special needs people in any negative way whatsoever, even if it is either mentally or emotionally, socially, sincerely, financially, physically, or defensively. They are all human beings, such as I am. Special needs people, especially me, have deeper feelings and emotions, mentalities and sincerities than those without special needs. All their lives are all important and they all matter, so is my own.